Hey there guys, it's Ricky Sir here with Aragon Web, your home for old school Aragon reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. We're gonna jump right back into our Gambo Coyote guns. We, this is the 22. I've got our JSBs, our H&Ms, and our JTSs here on the table. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about some features here. And if you notice, I do have the FX chronograph there because frankly, it's been long enough now, I don't remember what this gun's doing for power. And I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and get some numbers while we do this, right? It's just, it's, why waste the uh, opportunity? Um, some of the cool features on this gun, obviously it is um, beautiful wood stock. It's got their CAT trigger, which Wish it had more adjustability. It doesn't. It's somewhat adjustable, but you can make it worse, not better. Sorry, Gamo, it's just the truth of the matter. Um, it's got the BSA barrel. In fact, this is made in the UK. So this is another level on their product line. It's super nice. Uh, 10 shot magazine. Um, it's got the Whisper front end. Uh, one of the cool things I really love about what they've done is the magazine sits low, so the rail, you can get a scope, you can be aggressive as you want to get the scope as low to the bore as you like, as you dare, um, and the, the eye relief cheek position is all suitable for that. It's really done a good job that way because a lot of times you have to straddle the mag and that means your scope's higher than you want to be. Well, this, you can get it right where you want it to be. It fills the 232 bar. It's unregulated. One of the things I want to see today is what kind of shot curve we're going to get. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do our regular tests, which we've got our target today is set up at 30 yards. Um, I was going to do 50, but then I thought, I haven't shot this gun in a while, and we just got out of the box. I haven't done anything but sight the scope in. So yeah, we're going to go 30 yards. We'll start with that and uh, see how it does. Now, I had sighted it at 50, and it was shooting pretty good, but may, may, may need to make a few adjustments. So let's go ahead and get going here. We're gonna start with the JSBs. You know the drill. We're gonna use the top bowl for our cider. We get dialed in, and then we will um, shoot three five-shot groups to see how they're gonna shoot, and then go from there. I am very curious. I'm trying to remember if this did. I think it does. I know it does over 30 foot-pounds, but let's just see where it's where it's hitting uh, power-wise. Okay. Okay. All right. Top left bull is probably gonna go a little high. Yep. 823. Uh, 823, that is 27 foot pounds, so not quite 30. I'm gonna bring that shot down. Okay. Let's see if we have a curve or if it just drops. 830. Try again here. Eight hundred. Okay. Twenty-six. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead and shoot our groups now. All right, here we go. Next bull, five shots, JSBs. Eight hundred thirty-five. Eight hundred thirty-five. 840. 840. 837. Okay. Next pull down. Um, we got up to 28 and some change on that. So 28.4. So not quite 30 foot pounds. Here we go. 840. Last bullet. 844. Empty magazine. 844. 847. 847. 28.9. Um, consistency so far has been pretty good. We started a little bit low at 823, but we've been hanging in the 8 
high 830s, high or mid 30, uh, 840s. All right, let's see how we're doing here. All right, and I'm just going to let the crony run so we get an idea of the string across almost 20 shots. All right, we're going to go down the bottom here, five shots. 847 850 851 851 858 Okay, almost to 30 foot pounds we're at 29.7. So that's 18 shots. <clears throat> Let's see where we are power wise, right? <clears throat> Our pressure wise we are oh my gosh okay um, we are at like 2500 psi so we started at like 33 we're at 25 uh, we could probably go probably a, a bunch more shots I would imagine we're gonna get probably close to 40 or 50 shots out of this when we do our review um, we'll know for sure we'll get a full uh, full look at the whole string but uh, we're still on the upswing so we haven't even hit the top but realistically let's see we've got a spread of 35 so far and it's going to go up and it's going to come back down so i don't know that we're going to get much a much bigger spread but that's uh perfectly acceptable in a uh, unregulated gun we're going to get we'll go ahead and top this off we'll switch over to our h and and see how they do all right here we go H and N's, 1813s. These are new precision for, I forgot, they came out last year, I guess. And they're good pellets. Just need to know what guns like them, right? That's why we're doing it. All right. You guys know the drill? Top bowl is our cider, and then we'll shoot three five shot groups. <clears throat> Here we go. Eight hundred twenty one. Okay. Eight hundred twenty one. Okay, we're gonna go up and right. Right is I always gotta look. Yeah, back towards me. Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Okay, it looks like with the JSBs, H and Ns are on the climb. Let's see how far. Let's see how far we get. Next bolt, five shots. Here we go. Eight hundred twenty-one. Two. Eight hundred twenty-three. Three. Eight hundred twenty-six. Four. Eight hundred forty. Five. Eight hundred twenty-six. Moving down. <clears throat> One. Eight hundred thirty-seven. Last bullet. Two. Eight hundred thirty. Empty magazine. Three. Eight hundred. Thirty-three. Four. Eight hundred thirty. Five. Eight hundred forty-nine. That's pretty. Twenty-nine foot-pounds. Okay, we're out of pellets. Next five shots. Here we go. One. Eight hundred fifty-four. Two. Eight hundred thirty-five. Three. Eight hundred thirty-three. Four. Eight hundred twenty-eight. Five. Eight hundred wow. thirty-five. Wow, that was interesting. That one had a little bouncy bit to it. We hit um, um, eight fifty-four. Eighteen shots. Let's see how much pressure we have left. <clears throat> well, let's first of all let's be smart about this. Take the mag out. It's empty, but nonetheless, put our safety on. Okay. Um, same deal, uh, about 2,500 PSI is left. So that was odd, that last group, the way it sort of bounced around a little bit. 
<clears throat> let's um, save that. We'll get our compressor hooked up, get it filling, and we'll do our last pellet. Let's take a cider. We're gonna be at the top right, bunch of targets. Let's see where we hit. 833. Okay. These are a little bit lighter. Let's see if that hits the same place again. It does. So we're going to move those back. I need to move those left, so that's going to be away from me. Okay. Up and down's good. We just need to move it left. 837. I can move. We'll do another one here. 800. Move the wrong way. We need to go left here, guys. Again, a glimpse a little deeper into the shot count curve and stuff. Eight hundred forty. Last one. We're gonna go with this. Eight hundred forty. Okay. Here we go. Another down below. Here we go. Five shots. One. Two. Three. Last bullet. Four. Empty magazine. Five. Next shot below. One. Forty-nine. Two. Eight hundred. Forty-nine. Three. Eight hundred. Fifty-six. Four. Eight hundred. Fifty-four. Five. Eight hundred. Fifty-four. All right. Last five. Here we go. One. Eight hundred. Fifty-six. Two. Eight hundred. Fifty-four. Three. Eight hundred fifty-eight. Last bullet. Four. Eight hundred sixty-one. Empty magazine. Five. Eight hundred sixty-three. Okay, we're at 29.9 foot pounds. We're so close to 30. I'm gonna go grab that target and then we can wrap this up. But I think, I think, of course I say this every time. I look at it through the scope and I think we have a clear winner until I get like up close and personal with the target. Then I have to rethink it. But let's see if I'm right this time. I'm gonna go grab it, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I did it to myself again. <laughs> uh, looking through the scope, I really thought that the JTS has pulled out a win, but I think all of the pellets did really well. I'm looking at all of these and they all had like, they're really great group and they're not so great group and they're mediocre group. Well, uh, middle like like good, better, and best, right? So they all had their good, better, and best going, um, and everything was consistent. So I didn't have to chase anything. Now we've been doing a lot of this, and it's amazing how many guns will shoot uh, that that I'm having to chase the groups, right? So uh, that's a weird thing. I haven't had to chase group. I didn't have to chase groups with this at all, and I'm looking at. I think it's actually. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you guys tell me if we look at those groups? Uh, we've got JSB, H and N, and JTS. Of these bottom three groups of each one, which, as far as you guys are concerned, which group gives you uh, like which one do you think, or which pellet do you think shoots best in this gun? Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Um, we're looking at. Just save this. Um, we're still on the upswing. Um, on our shot curve. So we're 21 shots. We're still on the upswing. We, we know we're right around 2,500 PSI. Uh, I probably have at least another two mags, maybe three, before we run out and we're having to go hunt air. Um, let me see. I mean, the spread on these is so far is 30 feet per second. So if we're right near the top of the curb and we're going to start heading down, um, we may only have like a 30 foot per second spread, maybe a 40 foot per second spread. Again, unregulated, 
but as you guys could hear, <laughs> very consistent. I am super pumped that we have this gun and the 177 uh, in-house. I'm thinking about swapping the scope over to the 177 and doing a little shooting because it is going to start getting really nice out here um, temperature-wise because it's been really hot. But as the sun starts to set, it's going to get nicer. Anyway, you guys let me know what you, what you think of this. I want to know what you guys think or which you guys think is the best pellet for this so far. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Guys, that's going to be it for now. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. You can check them out, www.airgunweb.com. All the sponsors there contribute to our ability to bring you this kind of content. Of course, thank you to Gambo for sending these guns too. So that's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web. You're home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.